The South Australian Company was formed in London on 9 October 1835 by George Fife Angus and other wealthy British merchants to develop a new settlement in South Australia, its purpose was to build a new colony. The South Australian Company ended business in its own right on 17 March 1949 when it was liquidated by Elders Trustee and Executor Company Limited, which had been managing its Australian affairs since the death of the last colonial manager, Arthur Muller in 1936. Foundation. The formation of the company followed considerable lobbying by the South Australian Association, a group consisting of philanthropists, radical thinkers, dissenters and merchants. After a years of negotiation, false starts, changes and amendments to suggested charters, the British Parliament finally gave approval and passed the South Australian Foundation Act on the 15th of August 1834. The founding board of directors were George Fife Angus, Chairman, Rakes Curry, Charles Hindley MP, James Hyde, Henry Kingscote, John Pirry, Alderman, Christopher Ross. Wilson, John Rundle MP, Thomas Smith, James Riddell Todd, and Henry Weymouth, with Edmund John Wheeler, manager, Samuel Stevens, colonial manager, and Edward Hill, secretary pro tem. <laughs> Arrivals of 1836 In January 1836 four ships sailed from England on behalf of the company. They developed a settlement at Kingscote on Kangaroo Island, in July 1836, but when farming proved unviable, they transferred their settlement to the mainland. The company provided basic infrastructure for the new colony, as well as sold or leased land to immigrants who came to settle. All told, nine ships, which may be termed the first fleet of South Australia, arrived in the new colony. The commissioners Under the acts that established the colony, the UK government appointed commissioners to oversee implementation of the acts, 13 based in London with a resident commissioner stationed in the colony. Those first appointed were Colonel Robert Torrens, Chairman, Roland Hill, Secretary, G. Barnes, Treasurer, George Fife Angus, E. Barnard, William Hutt, J. G. Shaw Lefevre, W. A. McKinnon MP, S. Mills, Jacob Barrow Montefiore, G. Palmer, and J. Wright. The first resident commissioner was James Hurtle Fisher. Colonial managers The colonial managers of the South Australian Company were Officers of the company Most of the major streets in the Adelaide city centre were named after the founding directors of the company, Chairman 1836 to 1848 George Fife Angus 1789 to 1879 Angus Street 1848 to 18 James Riddell Todd 1899 to 1923 Henry Jocelyn directors 1836 to 18 Rakes Curry Curry Street 1836 to 18 Charles Hindley, Hindley Street, 1836 to 18. James Hyde, 1836 to 18. Henry Kingscote, 1836 to 18. John Pirry, Pirry Street, 1836 to 18. Christopher Rawson, 
1836 to 18. John Rundle, Rundle Street, 1836 to 18. Thomas Smith, 1836 to 18. James Rodal Todd, 1836 to 18. Henry Weymouth, Weymouth Street. 1880 to 1911 Major General Sir Stanley de A. C. Clark, G. C. V. O. C. M. G. 1889 to 1919 Sir John H. Kennaway, Bart. C. B. M. P. 1891 to 1922 Andrew Johnston. 1895 to 1931 John Henry Grant. 1899 to 1931 Sir R H Herman Hodge, later Lord Joseph Fisher, Robert Bar Smith, Tom Elder Bar Smith, Company Secretaries, 1878 to 1911 James Hutchison, 1911 to 1930 plus Henry Brandreth Gibbs, FCIS Attorneys in South Australia, William Bartley. 1850 to 1906 Sir Samuel Davenport, KCMG. 1876 to 1923 John Warren Bakewell Local Board of Advice, Adelaide. 1841 to 1885 William Bartley. 1841 to 18 Edward Stevens. 1856 to 1870 William Bakewell, MP, Crown Solicitor 1876 to 1923 John Warren Bakewell 1886 to 1930 plus Joseph Fisher 1894 to 1932 Sir John Lancelot Sterling KCMG MLC Accountants Edward Stevens Edward Robert Simpson died the 11th of July 1900. Topic: Company officers. From 1872, the South Australian Company occupied offices on North Terrace on the corner of Gawler Place. The new building, Gawler Chambers was completed in 1914. List of people associated with the South Australian Company Most of the major streets in the Adelaide city centre were named after the founding directors of the company. Naming of the settlement streets was completed on the 23rd of May 1837 and gazetted on the 3rd of June by the Street Naming Committee, Adelaide. 